In this part, we'll learn to add data from our Flutter app using our API. So, let's do it. First, I'll create a floating action button. Leave unpress property empty for few moments. Provide icon widget to child property and set add icon. Change background color. Also change foreground color to change icon color. Now, create add user page. Create a stateful widget in this page. Change its name to add user. Now, go back to main page. Inside this unpressed method, use navigator.push to redirect to add user page. And import its library. Now, create scaffold widget inside add user page. And copy the app bar and bottom navigation button from the main page and paste it inside the add user page. Change the app bar title to add user. Leave the unpressed empty for a while. Also change button text to add. Now create body. And copy form widget along with padding and column widget from the edit page and paste it inside the add user page. Import the form builder and validator libraries. As we are adding new user, so we don't need initial value inside form fields. Now copy form key from the edit page and paste it here. Our form is ready now. Now open our API handler class. Create a method of future HTTP response return type and call it add user. Pass user object as parameter and make it required. Also make this method async. Now convert our base URI to URI data type like this and store it inside URI property. Create response property of type HTTP response to store the response. Return response. Now create trycatch block to avoid app crashes. Use response property here and make a HTTP POST request. Pass URI property to it. Also pass headers to it. Copy headers from edit method. Also pass user object. Also copy this code from edit method. As I'm not handling exceptions right now, I'll simply return response in catch block. Now come back to add user page. Create an instance of API handler class. Now, create a method of void return type and call it add user, also make it async. Inside this method, use if statement to check whether form is validated according to our validator or not. For that use, save and validate method from form key. Create data property and store form data in it using form key. Create user object using our user model class. Import user class library. Leave user ID 0 because it is set to auto increment in database. Pass name and address from data property. As values are stored as key value pairs in data property, that's why we need to use brackets. Now call add user method from API handler class and pass user object to it. After this, use navigator.pop method to go back to main page. Now refresh the app to test it out. Add username and address in fields. And submit. Sorry, we forgot to call add user method on button press event again. Now, press add button again. Refresh, and our data is submitted successfully. And with this, out add user method is complete. In next part, we'll create delete method to delete data using our API. So, stay tuned.